guys, this is Kim and I am back to do another video for you guys. The new wig that I have is a wig that I've been wanting to get for a while, but y'all know, like, synthetic units, I'm so used to them being cheap, so I was like, nah, I don't want to buy those. They're a little bit too expensive for my blood right now. But I love this wig so much on everybody that I had to get it. So I got the Sensational What Lace Collection in Kiari. I have her in a number two. I haven't even took out the box yet. But um, I was very excited to get this wig because everybody slayed this wig. Absolutely slayed it. So here she is. Taking her on about the pad right now. And of course, she had all this stuff lying around. Good Jesus. But anyways, this is her. Ooh, she's soft. I got her number two. The lighting is making it look like a number four, but it is the same exact color as the one I have on my head. Um, y'all, this is, yes. Okay, let me show y'all the cap construction because the What Lace collection is a little bit different. So. Look at all that parting, y'all. So this is the lace where you can part it anywhere because this is a 13 by seven, right? Yeah, I think so. This is a 13 by six, 100% um, Swiss lace wig, hairline illusion wig. So this is all the, the um, part space you get with her. And she has two combs on the sides. And then she has the one comb in the back with the adjustable straps. So I am going to try my hardest to put this on, y'all, because I'm not used to all this lace. So I'm going to try. So <laughs> I'm going to try to slay it like Kyra Shine and Is That Your Hair and everybody else who had this wig, uh, Heart in K90. <laughs> but I cannot wait to put this on. So I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, so here I am with my Maybelline foundation. It is the Fit Me Matte. I am in the color 355, which is coconut. And I was thinking that all I had to do was put my foundation on the brush and dab that on the lace to tint the lace. And um, that wasn't working the best. It worked, but it didn't work as well as I thought it would. So I'm just sitting here dabbing away, y'all, thinking that was going to work. It don't work all that great. <laughs> so pretty much I had decided that I was going to watch a few videos and I came across Beige Oja's video which I love her been watching her videos for a very long time and pretty much what she did was she put her foundation in a spray bottle with some setting spray and some water and she pretty much just sprayed her lace and that is how she tinted her lace and I was like oh that's a good hack let me see if it works and it really really does and I love that so I will try to find her video again and put it down in the description box but this was a definitely a very very good hack and all you do is blend it in to tint your lace and so you do not have to buy the Sally Hansen spray if you want to be lazy and cheap like me <laughs> so this actually worked pretty well and it tinted my lace and it was the color of me so you do not have to worry about that just use your own foundation and a spray bottle and you good
Hey, you guys. I am back with the wig on. Now, if we're going to be 100, 100%, this is the hardest wig I've ever had to put on. So, um, <laughs> and this is just being honest. Um, so, I had to do a lot of work. As y'all can see, I had my water bottle. So, pretty much what I did with my dollar store water bottle um, is I put my foundation in there and I used the Mario Basque and some water and I sprayed my lace. That's pretty much what I did. And I got that from Beige Oja. I want to, I hope I'm saying her name right. I will put her video in the description box if I can find it. But Beige Oja is who I stole that from. That is not something I came up with. So, <laughs> but it works. So you don't have to use the set, the Sally Hansen spray. Okay, let's get to the wig. This is the hardest wig I ever have to do because, of course, I was thinking about getting a natural uh, wig. So, I was like, I'm going to spend some money on some wigs. So, just for me to practice, let me get one of these What Lace 13 by 6 wigs so I can figure out exactly what I want to do and how to work it out. So, I feel like I did a pretty decent job. Um... This could be a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie. Some of this could be a little bit better. But for my first time actually adhering a lace, I think I did aight. We did aight. Okay. So, um, but it's the second time I actually put this wig on. I'm not gonna lie. It's the second time I actually put it on. So, I am getting better because it wasn't as adhered down as I was last time. The ear tabs are not completely on because this is a big head friendly unit. This thing is huge. Um, so I got on my two wig caps and my wig grip and I'm still swimming in it. This is such a pretty wig and I really do love it. It's so natural looking and I love the natural density. Um, the texture is yakky. I love it. This has to be maybe a 16 to 18 um, unit. She's like right here. She's really, really pretty. <sighs> is she tangling y'all? A little bit. I'm not gonna lie to say this is my second time putting her on. She is tangling a little bit. And is she shedding like a dog, honey? This wig has been shedding, shedding, shedding. Now, I cut the lace last time I put it on. So this time I'm thinking, Maybe it shouldn't shed as much as it did the first time. Because the first time I was over how much it shed. But it is still shedding. Like every time I run my fingers through it, I'm getting strands. I mean, it could have been because of the lace. I don't know. But it is really, really shedding. And I am getting a lot of strands. And it's not like one or two. It's like four or five every time I run my fingers through it. And I'm just like over it. Okay? I spent $50 on this wig, honey. Although that's still not a lot. It's still a synthetic wig. But like I maybe because I feel like I spent more money on it, it should have been a better quality wig. I understand that it's synthetic, but maybe it should have been a a human hair blend or something like that. Like a literally a premium fiber. It says it's a premium fiber, but honey. I don't know. Is she beautiful? Yes. Is she like one of the best units I've had? Yes. But she is shedding so much. Like I can deal with tangling. Like I'm kind of used to that. A synthetic wig is going to tangle. But this right here is just like, bruh. Like the shedding is so much. It's like excessive. And I'm over it. But besides that, she is beautiful. And she's really, really beautiful. And I think I did a pretty decent okay job on this here part. Um, I'm not a baby hair girl, so I wasn't going to put the baby hairs in it. And it's not all the way glued down on the sides. Uh, maybe because, I don't know, it's just too big. So, <laughs> like, low-key, the ear tab is way down, like, like, if I pulled it down, it's, like, way down here. Like, <laughs> I didn't want to glue it to my actual, like, cheek. Y'all, my head's small for real. Like, I'm not just saying it to be funny. My head is really small, so... It's like, like a little bit too much to put it all the way down like that. But whatever. It's being covered, so I'm not really worried about it. I will be wearing it out to dinner tonight. But this is really, really pretty. I really, really like it. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the best wigs I have had. But at the same time, it is shedding excessively. And there are cheaper wigs that do not shed as much. Um, but do I like this wig? Yes. Did it prepare me for when I buy a human hair unit? Yes. So if you want to practice 
the what lace collection or any other 13 bottles of six wigs probably would do you good um i know bobby boss has some that i heard is bomb i watch everybody videos y'all i literally watch youtube all day i pay for cable to watch youtube all day so right right and, and cable not cheap either like it's not cheap <laughs> so I'm paying for cable to sit up there and watch YouTube all day. And I've seen some other ones that people are raving about, like the Bobby Boss one. So, I heard the stylist has some 13 by 6 wigs too, which are really, really good. So, this one right here is definitely beginner friendly if you want to practice. And you want to practice on how to customize your, your wigs, how to pluck the lace. Um, I plucked it just a little bit, but not a lot. Because I don't want to ruin a wig. I'm still a beginner, just like everybody else. So, that's all I really pretty much did. It is on and it's going to stay on until I get back to this hit house tonight. But, yes, I just wanted to show you guys what it was, what the specs are. So, this is Kiari. I have her in the number two. Um, she's beautiful. She's, she's not tangling as bad, but she is shedding like crazy and I'm over it. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you have any tips for me, because I love a good tip because I need them, <laughs> put them in a comment section. Um, if you want to tell me something about this wig, if you got something nice to say, put it down there. If you got something negative to say, put it down there. Either way, thank you so much for supporting and watching my videos. Um, thumbs up, subscribe, share, let everybody know about me. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.